they've had their point guard back. Yeah. Tim Floyd lost a terrific young man, Ryan Francis, who was tragically killed in a shooting near his home in Louisiana. They have an endowed scholarship established in his name at USC. One of the nicer guys uh, I mean, I've been around in college basketball, and you, you, you miss his contributions on the court, but I'm sure his teammates miss him even more in terms of what he brought into the locker room and just kind of hanging out off the court. But you were telling me that Gabe Pruitt, who returns as the point guard now, had some point guard experience in high school. Yeah, at Centennial High School in Compton, his first couple of years played the point guard position before he transferred to Westchester, and then he was moved out of that spot because a young man checked in into school who they thought was a better point guard, and that happened to be uh, UCLA uh, there in the flop. There's a patch for Ryan Francis, who won the club last year. Gutsy freshman, Barry Cotton. And uh, he's lost. Just tragic story. Yeah, I mean, my, it was hard-wrenching for me. And I mean, I didn't know him nowhere, nowhere near as well as these guys. He just kind of had that kind of personality. And he was not highly recruited at all. Coming out of high school in, in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, but wound up starting for the Trojans and playing a, playing a big part in their upset of North Carolina in December. Their, their victory against UCLA, his on-the-ball defense, his fire, it's just, just, just uh, impossible to replace. Look at the way USC is continuing to defend. I mean, Oregon State has only shot 28% from the floor in this game. And USC, again, number one, allowing opponents this entire year to shoot just 35%. One thing for Gabe Tour to be matched up against Josh Tarver, the freshman. We got him next week against UCLA and Darren Collison, one of the top two point guards in the conference, along with Mustafa Shakur. So you know, he'll, be, he'll, be, he'll be tested a lot more in that game, but he's done a... Done a Real solid job against Josh Tarver, the freshman, and I keep saying that that's the opening the world, just the freshman, Josh Tarver. Well, if you like defense, then you'll like that game because USC goes against UCLA, and it's a game you can watch on FSM from the Galen Center. A 35-second shot clock violation by OSU, and here's a team that is leading by almost 30 points. <laughs> or, well, well, over 30 yeah. points, excuse me. And they're still showing that kind of passion and focus defensively. Yeah, that's, you know, that's what you want if you're Tim Floyd. You don't, you don't play by the score. You, you want your guys kind of just into a mode, into a mindset. So off the ball defense much improved from a year ago. Gibson from the high post. About two feet out of his range for Taj Gibson, a lot more effective. Right, right around a 15-foot mark is the limit. It doesn't, doesn't seem like much, but it is for a guy with limited range. Well, oh, that looks like his uh, hero, Dirk Nowitzki. They need a little bit more of that from Sasha Chuich. Kind of held the ball with one hand out to the side. And yeah, if he ever was right, if he ever dreamed he was good as Dirk Nowitzki, he needs to wake up and apologize. <laughs> How about Lodrick? He has gone crazy tonight. Lodrick Stewart with a career high. He has six three-pointers tonight. It's so, so funny. I mean, just to talk to him before the game, Coach said, I need to shoot more. Coach says he wants me to be more aggressive offensively. And voila! <laughs> he turned into Jerry West. <laughs> <laughs> and then Lodrick come back and he plays great defense. That's what he's done. That's been a staple uh, this entire season. He does a great job, gives great energy, gets great effort on the defensive end. How about these numbers? Stewart was 26, Gibson was 18. Let's take a look at his defense as well. And you see where he comes from. I mean, he's dead corner, recognizes that Marcel Jones has an opportunity for an easy two, and does a great, great hustle job on the block. And as you mentioned, up by uh, 36 points when that play occurred. Gibson and Stewart combined are 16 for 19 from the floor. USC Gibson with 18 points, Stewart with 26. Is we have uh, how many teams in the top 25 in the Pac-10 so far this year? We've got, what, three? Four. Four. Okay, Arizona, UCLA, Oregon. Yeah, and, and Washington. And Washington. Washington. Fall out. Washington. But uh, this SC team is going to have to get some consideration. They're going to Oregon. They beat Washington. I mean, they beat Oregon at Oregon. The way they're playing today. I mean, they've got to get some votes. They've got to get some consideration. If they don't crack it, they'll be right on the bubble.
So I'm feeling Washington will fall right after losing to Arizona 96 to 87. They need a, a big win today against Arizona State. It's a young but very talented Washington team who may play their best basketball in February. Yep. And Gillis almost gets the steal as the ball is knocked out of bounds. January for Jay John. Daniel Lewis unloads it to Roderick Stewart. Shot clock is right now at seven. He gets it underneath to Lewis. And Roderick's got to take that shot. Yep, he, shot clock violation. And you know that, that's a turnover, but. If I'm Tim Floyd, I, I'm just not upset about that because they were making the extra pass. Now, you want them to have awareness, USC, of the shot clock. But again, that's, that's, the, that's the, the kind of selflessness that uh, selflessness that you like to see from your players. Josh Tarver hits the three. Tarver. Although they say he was on the line, so it's a two-pointer for Josh. 12 minutes and 14 seconds left in this ball game. USC on the way to their 13th win this year. Gibson, oh, how quickly he gets it up and oh, off that glass. Funky Big Apple post-up game. Michael Johnson, the son of Steve, 6'5", about 235. He's strong, but just doesn't have the length and the quick ups to defend a Taj Gibson inside. There's that steal again by Lodrick Stewart. And he'll score a ties a career. Excuse me, that sets a new career high. That's 28 points for Lodrick Stewart. He is 9 of 10 from the floor, 6 of 6 from three-point range. Showing again some of the, the promise and potential that he got. I saw him as his sophomores at Rainier Beach High School. And he and his brother, Roderick, two of the highest jumping pair of sophomores I've ever seen in my life. Well, he's shoot more. And when we come back, we'll take a look at the Pac-10 Conference and some surprising starts. Christy Lynch from Samaritan Advantage Health Plans and Benny are presenting it with an autograph baseball. Thank you, Kurt Timmons and Judy. <laughs> Southwest Airlines home fares available at southwestair.com. They're committed to helping people get the health care they need. A wide range of medical, dental, prescription drug, and vision benefits. More information, log on to PacificSource.com. State Farm Insurance, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. <laughs> 